Suno AI just dropped an insane update that gives you way more control over your songs than ever before. We're talking full edits, stem splits, extended uploads, and even sliders to fine tune your style. Let's check it out. The first update is the new song editor that allows us to edit our songs within Suno to change lyrics or melodies, add a new section, extend your song, rearrange your song, and get stems. To access this feature, select your song, click on the three dots menu, select Remix Edit, and click Open in Editor. It will open the editor screen, which will display all the song sections with different colors. We have the intro, verse 1, chorus, etc. If you want to rearrange them, you can just drag and drop to the desired position. Now let's try editing something. For example, let's select the chorus, and in the chorus, let's say I want to change this word. So I'll highlight it and click on New Lyrics button. On the right, you can see that it has highlighted the section where this word is. And in the new lyrics, I want the word to be replaced with father. Then I'll click on fix alignment and click replace. And it has started generating the replacement. After a few seconds, it will generate two options to choose from. So here's my original version. Daddy, I'm trying to be so damn strong. And here's the new version. Father, I'm trying to be so this one looks good, so I'll click on Commit, and it will save the new version. Now we can save it as a new song by clicking here, and Suno will create a new song and save it to your library, and we can see the new version has the word changed. You can also add new sections by clicking on the plus icon. Let's add a new section here, and here you can write your style and add your lyrics. Let's say I just want to add a guitar solo here, and keep the same style, pop rock, and the live performance vibe. And then we can also select how many beats I want, let's say 32 beats, and click on Create. So what's happening here is that it has this context window, and it will use this context window to get an idea of what's before and what's after to create something in the selection section. If you see the lyrics now, it has added this guitar solo here. Let's play it. And just like that, we have added a guitar solo between the chorus and verse 2. We can save it as a new song. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. For example, at the end of the guitar solo, it generated some random vocals. Let's delete that. So I can just put the cursor here, right-click, and delete it. You can also extend. Click on the extend, and you can choose from where we want to extend. I click and drag this area, so instead of the outro, I don't want the song to end here. I want to add something after the chorus. So I click on the outro, click on Extend. It will highlight the area that it is going to replace, and now let's say, instead of the outro, I'll click on New Lyrics, I will add something here, I'll just type a new verse 4, then add my outro, and click Extend. So it has started creating the extension. Now we have the chorus, and then we have the extension. Let's play it. Because I gave it a live performance style, you can hear some crowd screaming at the end of the performance. I don't want this. I want the part where the audience is screaming to fade out. So I'll click on Fade Out, and then click and drag the fade to my liking. That's it. We've got a smooth fade out at the end. Save me that day, but who saves me now? Now you can save it as a new song, and you've got a brand new song with all your changes. And we also have this new thing called stems. I'll click on stems, and it can extract up to 12 instrument and vocal stems and cost 50 credits. Now let's click on extract and see what we get. So it has created two versions. In the first version, we have lead vocals, backing vocals, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, percussion, and synth. And in the version two, we have backing vocals, drums, bass, guitar, keyboard, synth, and other. So you can play the song and you can click on solo to listen to individual stem. These are the lead vocals. You save me that day, but who 
saves me now. Backing vocals. You save me. Drums. Bass. Guitar. Keyboard. Synth. Other. The other stem has the crowd noises and all that, I can just mute this later if I don't want it. If you don't like these stems, you can click on regenerate and it will regenerate two versions using 50 credits. To download, you can click on this option, select mp3 or WAV files, and click on download all. It will download all the stems. And if you want to download individual stems, you can click on the individual button to download. Now, if you want to, you can import these stems into any audio editor. For example, I'll go to BandLab, click on Create New Project, click on Import Audio, and then select all of the stems and click on Open. So it has imported all the stems here. Now here, I can add some effects to any of these stems to make them even better. Let's say I, I select this track and click on Effects and I'm going to add some presets. But who saves me now When the nightmares come crashing to the floor You can play around with these settings if you want to have even better control of your stems. If you want to master your song, click on Mastering, and you can select any of these presets and apply. And just like that, you have a production-ready song. Then finally, when you're done, click on Project, Download Mixdown As, and you can download WAV files with no compression and post it on different platforms. The next major update is the extended upload limit. Now you can upload any audio of up to eight minutes in length. When you're on the Create page, enable the Custom Mode, and you'll see the Audio button where you can record your sample or you can upload an audio file. I'll click on the Upload button and upload a sample I created in GarageBand. Suno now allows audio uploads of up to eight minutes long. Let me just trim down my sample to the desired length and remove the silent part at the end of the track. After the file is uploaded, you can either create a cover song while keeping the same melody, or you can extend from your sample to make it even longer, or you can just save it to your Suno library to use it later. First, let me show you the extend feature. Suno has added my sample successfully with the, the extend option enabled, and then you'll notice a few cool new things here. In the lyrics, it transcribed my sample and determined that it's just an instrumental. Um, also, if you look at the style description, it automatically identified the style based on my sample. It shows that this is an instrumental track in the alternative rock genre, with synthesizers, the drum pattern, the approximate tempo and BPM, and other detailed information. And if you scroll down further, you'll see some new advanced options. We have the weirdness slider, which, if set too high, will give you some strange results. I do not recommend going beyond 50% unless you want to generate something weird like this which isn't even music. Then we have the Style Influence slider, which determines how closely the output should match your style description. I'll leave that at 50% as well. Then we have the Audio Influence slider, which determines how closely the output should match your uploaded audio or persona. You can leave it at 25% or adjust it if you want. All right, let's set these parameters. And in the Lyrics section, I'll just add my lyrics here. Then leave the style description as it is and click on Remix. So this was my sample. And here's what Suno made. Now, if I want to merge my uploaded sample and Suno's part two, I'll click on the three dots menu, then click on Create Get Whole Song, and Suno will merge the two clips together and give you a full song. Personally, when I'm making songs, I'll put in some demo lyrics until I get good vocals and melody. Then, when I like something, I'll select the song and create a cover. Suno will enable the cover option and take the full song as context. Then I'll just replace the demo lyrics with my real lyrics. For covers, I'm getting better results at around 50% audio influence. Then click on Remix, 
and we get a song with the new lyrics, but the same melody. Myself still missing you. The world moves on, yeah, that's true. But not a day goes by without you. I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you, I want you. All these features are available to Pro and Premiere users, so what are you waiting for? Go make something awesome. And if you want to make music videos for your Suno songs, you can watch this video. I'll see you there.